Oh boy. You know what time it is? Time for more children's card games. Now this one, oh, this one's real special. I got a little present for that Gren Maju player. You know who you are, that one guy. You always use Gren Maju. Now I gotta say, your Gren Maju deck is pretty good, but mine's better. All right, let's get right into it. We're gonna do the monsters first, of course. We have to run three Grand Maju, the main guy, the big beefy boy. I'm not even gonna tell you what. All right, we run three Gizmek Orochi, the Serpenton Sky Slasher. This dude basically sets up your Grand Maju beefy boyness. I'm not even gonna tell you what he does. Theater of Millions. He's hard to out. Well, not not that hard, but well, he's hard, and he can be special summoned pretty easily too. And guess what? His summoning conditions make it easier to get this boy beefier. You want to know what he does? Well, you already know. I'm not gonna tell you. All right. So basically, this card right here is probably. The most key card in the deck, you know, aside from Grand Maju. Necroface. I can't believe this guy's up to three. This guy, this guy's ridiculous. Look at it. Look at how ugly that thing is. Focus, you bastard. Focus on the ugliness. Oh, it's unsightly. It's almost half as ugly as I am. Okay, anyways. So this dude, he gets banished. Both players have to banish five cards from the top of their deck. He gets summoned. You shuffle all your banished cards back in your deck. If you're about to run out in this deck, and you got a necro face in your hand, normal summon him, bam, you got your deck back. And he's beefier from all those cards that get sent back. But that's not the most important part. The most important thing in it is to just banish him. When he gets banished, you banish five cards from the top of your deck. You can even deck your opponent out with this guy. If you hit all three of them, just like if, if this guy gets banished, and then... <laughs> out of that stack that gets banished out of those five. Oh no, oh, another one got banished. Oh, we both have to banish the top five again. Oh no, that was in the, oh, a third one. That's 15 cards right there. Maybe 16. I'm terrible at math. Let's continue. I'm, I'm tired of this. All right, less important cards now. We got some kaijus. Got some kaijus, yeah, they, they, do, they do kaiju stuff, you know. You know, they can get rid of Dragoon and Boral Savage and all those other degenerate ass cards that negate every fucking thing imaginable. That's all that's all they're really used for. I use the Dark guy because I mean he sucks. You're probably wondering, why don't you use Gamma Seal like everybody else? Shut up, I'll tell you. It's because he's dark, alright? He goes with another card in the deck. It's a spell card. I'll get to that later. It's a lure of darkness, spoiler alert. Let's continue on. Fuck it off. All right, now, here we go. It's Battle Fader. What, what else did you expect? It's Battle Fader, guys. I don't even need to, I don't even need to say anything. It's three Battle Fader. All right, I'm not gonna say anything. You thought Battle Fader was, you thought Battle Fader was it? Guys, you know me better than that. It's fucking Swift Scarecrow. Look at that guy. Look at how swift he is. This this dude's got focus, you bastard. Look at that rocket. Like going right out of his ass. Kind of just kind of just right out of his ass. All right, let's what what's happening here? All right, that's it for the monsters. Uh unspecified number of monsters. I, I couldn't be fucked to count them. Sorry, guys. 3 pot of desires. Oh yeah. Cuz fuck the deck, all right? Let's just banish all of it. So that's why we run three of it. You banish ten off the top of your deck. Boom! Instant 4,000 Grand Maju Normal Summon. God, that's ridiculous. Alright. Three Allure of Darkness. Just about everything in this deck is dark. Uh, so if you got a Necro Face in your hand, you get a draw two off a lure, banish the Necro Face, and both players have to banish ten off the top of their deck. Five. Sorry. Again, terrible at math. Sorry, not sorry. Also, it's the card that I was talking about. Where the hell is it? Why, why do you guys let me do this? Why do you let me throw my shit around? 
That's why I run the dark guy. Because more dark targets, just in case. I don't want to get rid of my whole hand. That's just, that's just bad value right there. Alright, anyways. Pot of Duality. You're probably wondering, why the fuck are you running Pot of Duality when this deck special summons a lot? Well, I'll tell you. If you just shut the fuck up for five seconds. Well, it's because, really, this is the only card you need to summon. God, he's cool. Look, I didn't realize how cool he is. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's the only card you need to summon. You can summon this guy, the Gizmek dude. You can summon that guy during your opponent's turn. Banish eight off the top of your deck. Special summon him. Yeah, he can be special summoned during the, the battle, during the opponent's turn. And, like, let's say you use Pot of Duality, and you don't really have anything else, and you don't want to throw out your... Grand Maju yet, you want to wait until you can actually attack with them. That's why, as stupid as it sounds, I'm running the Battle Fader. And or the Swift Scarecrow. That's pretty much it. Because you get this, you get to look at top three cards, you get to grab a card that you really need, and then boom, you're set up. And you got plenty of cards that can back you up. Oh, we'll get into more cards, actually, later. So... Yeah, that's why I like this card. We don't need special summon that much in this deck. Boom! Inferno Tempest. Probably the worst card in the deck. I really want to get rid of this fucking card, but I, I really don't know what to replace it with. I don't know, maybe some dangers or something, because they're all dark, so... I, I don't know. If this card goes off, you pretty much win the duel. But it's very... I, I haven't gotten it off at all. I played like 10 games with this deck before, and I, I, haven't, re I haven't resolved this once, so I really want to get rid of it. But again, it's it's one of those things that if, if you're setting on it and you do somehow get hit with only 3,000 damage, which is very unlikely, in a turn where you get hit with 3,000 damage, more or less your opponent already has game on board. So it's not going to really matter if you do resolve this because you're still going to lose the damn game. That's why I really want to re replace that card. All right, anyways. Soul Absorption, two of it. Continuous Spell, basically, this makes you immortal. In a sense, if you're if you're banishing as much as this deck really is supposed to, this will pretty much make you immortal. If you have one of these active, and uh, you activate a pot of desires, shit, that's like five thousand life points, right? Five hundred times ten. I'm terrible at math. I've said that three times now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like five thousand. I mean, geez, that's a fuck ton. And and if you you keep banishing from the necro phase. You're gonna you're gonna get a lot of life points, <laughs> and we'll get into what the the trap card, the main card of the deck. I know I say Grand Maju is, I know I said Necroface is. This is the main trap card of the deck. I'll get into that later. But this pretty much makes you immortal. All right, last card, Gold Sarcophagus. We can only run one of it. I think it's still uh, limited to one. Thanks, Thunder Dragon. You assholes. All right, anyways. Basically, you use this to banish this, and then you banish five more off the top of both players' decks. It, it pretty much just kicks things off, you know? That's really all you need to banish. Or I guess if you're really, really hungering for the Gred Maja, you can banish that and try to survive for two turns. I mean, by then, shit, you'll banish half the damn deck, so he'll be, he'll be plenty strong, trust me. All right, let's get in with the traps. First off, I'm, I want to blue ball you a little bit more. We run a trap trick because... The three of trap is just not good enough. We have to run four of it. This is this is pretty much four, the, the fourth copy of the awesome trap that we run in the deck. All right, guys and gals, here it is. Oh, oh my God! I can feel the power. Oh, I can feel the. Oh wait, I'm gonna blue you ball you a little bit more. All right, let's get in with the extra deck first before I talk about that trap. This is going to be real quick. Let me just tell you. <laughs> yeah, let me just tell you. The extra deck means absolutely fuck all in this deck. Uh, you, you, can play, you can play pretty much anything that you want. Because I can almost guarantee you. You won't summon any of this. Unless you absolutely think you need to. Maybe, maybe the Link Karibo or the Illumirage. Uh, if you got... Al Mirage. Whatever. If you got uh, that Relinquish Anima. An Anima? Anima! Yikes. 
if you got that, run that. I, I have one of, and I, I couldn't be fucked to look for it for this shitty little deck profile. So if you got three of Link Karibo, Al Mirage, and Relinquish Anima, go ahead and run those. The rest of this, the rest of this just doesn't, just doesn't matter. Except, oh, oh yeah, Ray Musico. All right. Anyways, the reason the extra deck doesn't matter. Banquet of Millions. Oh, hot damn. Oh my god, it's a good card. But only for this deck. This card sucks ass. Except for Grand Maju decks. Oh yes, it's a good card for this deck. If you get it first turn, you can use it during your opponent's turn. You set that shit. Activate it during your opponent's turn when they're about to go off. They banish their whole extra deck. Face down. From, from your deck. And then, hmm. then they banish their face up. So yours go banish face down. So you'll basically never get them back, unless you you get them back with neck or face. But it doesn't matter. We don't need the extra deck. Fuck the extra deck. It's basically this will stall out your opponent's first turn. They won't be able to go into any of their big combo plays like Dragoon and Boral Savage and all those other combo things like Halcaful Brax and all that good shit. And guess what? It banishes your cards permanently. So you have 15 cards banished from your extra deck with this card. That's a lot of cheese for this big boy! Alright, that's pretty much the deck profile, guys. Uh, yeah. I know, it sucks. Who cares? It's better than that one guy. You know who you are. That one guy who always uses Gren Maju's at locals. Oh, yeah. This deck's better than yours. Yes! God, yeah, God, yeah, God, yeah.